Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Kania and Simon here. We're going to act out the story Mouse Count. So this is what you'll need at home. You'll need 10 cotton balls. I put eyes on mine to make them look a little bit more like mice. You'll need some kind of container, just like they had in the story. They had a jar. Then you'll need a rock. That's what the snake thought the mouse was, right? And you'll need the star of the show, a snake. I'm using a sock. All right, let's get started. One day there was a very hungry snake. <gasps> he was super duper hungry. He was ready to eat some mice. <gasps> he started counting them out and putting them in his jar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mice. The snake was really hungry and he looked in the jar. But one of the mice said, oh, but you probably don't want to eat us. The jar isn't even full. I bet you want to go over there and get that big fat mouse. Hmm. The snake looked over and thought, all right, I'm going to go get that big fat mouse. And he slithered off. Meanwhile, while the snake was gone, the mice were rocking and rolling the container. They rocked it back and forth until they all fell out. And they all started escaping before the snake got back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All the mice escaped. Meanwhile, the snake found out that wasn't a mouse. It was a big rock. He hurried back to the container. Oh no, he looked in. The mice are gone. Too bad, snake. Better luck next time. That was a fun story to act out. Now we're going to put our math skills to test. Are you ready? We're going to take a look at this fun mouse count story page. You can put your name at the top of the page right up here where it says name. And now there are different jars with mice in them. We're going to count the mice in the jar, and then there's three numbers in the jar. I wonder which number will be for the first jar. Let's take a good look. Let's count up the mice. Ready to count together? One, two, three, four, five. There's five mice in this jar. Which number says five? Is this number five? No, that's a three. Is this number five? Nope, that's an eight. Is this a number five? You guessed it. So with a crayon or a marker or even a little sticker, it's up to you. You can color in the number five because there are five mice in the jar. Great job. You can keep going. Let's look at the next jar. Let's count up the mice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mice in the jar. Let's take a look at the numbers under the jar. Which one of these numbers is seven? You got it. This is the number seven. So I'm going to color in number seven because that matches the number of mice in the jar. Great job. Let's try another jar. 
Let's count up the mice in this jar. One, two. Which one of these numbers is a number two? Look at these numbers go in order. One, two, three. There's the number two. So you go ahead and color in that circle with the number two. Well, this is a fun page, isn't it? You get to finish counting the rest of the jars on your own and finding the numbers. Simon, are you going to help too? You know it. All right, I'll see you soon, Simon. Bye, boys and girls. Have fun with your page.